All right, let me be straight up with you guys. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing right now. I I picked up a team off of the forums, modified it a little bit. We're doing an NU live, guys. I don't know what to expect. I've I've I'm not completely clueless in NU. Like I know a little bit about the tier, but oh these sets. Okay, all right. Well, we're getting into a battle. And of course, as usual, it's uh, almost one o'clock in the morning, so pause time. And we are back. Okay, so um, <laughs> oh god, uh, I have no points in this tier. Just to give you guys a heads up, so this could go pretty much any way. But Sash Smeargle, just just Sash Smeargle, right? I mean, it's just obviously the best lead. Um, just I Stealth Rocks, I guess. Let's do it. He goes for sunny day. Okay, so he's chlorophyll. Um, well, let's paralyze him. Goes for solar beam. Sash. Nope. Nope. Not dying today, bud. And he gets paralyzed. We should be faster than him now. We go for a parting shot and swap out into into what though? I guess into Zatu. Nah, you know what? Just get up spikes. It. Sludge Bomb, that's what I was afraid of. That's why I didn't want to go directly into Zatu. But now we can go into it. What does he have to counter this? Um, zero things. That's what. Zero things. Side shock. Crits. Nice crit. Gets a hidden power, I don't know what off. He crits me too, so. Um, can we take another one? Not sure. Don't think so. Um... But I could just play off Paralysis. Let's roost. Let's see what happens. He goes for Sludge Bomb and takes us out. Okay, well, that didn't work out. Uh, <laughs> let's go into Lipard here. That's uh, pretty free knockoff right now, as his Vileplume is, in fact, paralyzed. And, uh, well, we would have been faster anyway, but now this thing puts in a lot of work. Look at this thing. Choice Banded. Very nice. 412 attack. Pretty much equivalent to most OU mons. Uh, I don't know what your defense is. But, uh, I think, uh, Torterra might be the overall best play here. Uh, alternatively, Rotom. Yeah, Rotom's pretty good. Let's go Rotom. I don't want that dead yet, so. Those are Toxic Spikes. Kinda sucks. Um, just gonna fire off a Shadow Ball, I think. Yep, that's fine. 36%, very nice. Uh, we get, uh, Red Carded out, okay. Alright then. Um... Ooh, you know what? Uh, yeah. How about we do that? No, 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 no. We need to get rid of this thing first. And that doesn't kill. All right. And he gets a weak armor speed boost. Does that make him faster than us? Probably not. Let's go for another knock. And uh, not exactly sure why he's weak armor and not aftermath, but that works out for us. And I pretty much have to sweep with Torterra now. Rock Polish up. Should be good to clean up the game. The Rotom fan's a little bit of an issue, but... Uh, Leopard, Leopard, what can you lock yourself into? Rock Climb, I guess, would be okay. Let's see. We've got a Rotom fan here. I am not a fan of this thing. Uh, let's just go for Knock. He might be Scarfed. That's probably what he is. Nope, he's not. He is Rocky Helmet. Okay. He's going to go for Volt Switch. He's going to take us out. That's fine. His Rotom dies to rocks. His Magmortar takes 25. His Tauros takes 24 when it comes in. Actually, his Magmortar takes 37. So there goes 24. There goes another 13. There we go. And uh, why do I not have a safe switch to this thing? Oh, I guess Rotom's okay. It's Levitate, so um, we can just uh, T-Bolt here, I think, is fine. Uh, actually, Shadow Ball is just overall the safest play. I don't want him going to Gastrodon for free, so... Let's do that. Hit him up. 24% does absolutely nothing. Psychic is going to obliterate our life. And we're just going to Shadow Ball again. Like I said, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, um, you know what? Let's 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 check this out. Rotom. Regular Rotom. Uh, Choice Scarf versus Magmortar. Is that, is that Specs damage? Assault Vest. Give me Psychic. Give me Psychic right now. Nope, nope, that's just uh, that's a re regular modest mag mortar. So, gotta go into Samurott here. Gotta go for the Aqua Jet right now. I don't know why he said good game. This game's not over in the slightest. Um, 
I still have a Torterra, so. He's gonna bring in his Gastrodon. I'm gonna go for a Swords Dance. I obviously can't hit this thing with a water move, so. Gonna hit it up with a uh, with a Mega Horn. He's gonna go for Acid Armor, okay. Alright, well, uh, I ain't playing games. Let's go Tor uh, Torterra right now. As he goes for another Acid Armor. And we can just fire off a. Wait a minute, what happened? Oh, Mlumberry. Huh. Look at that. Are all the spikes, like, behind Torterra right now? Because I don't see them. <laughs> just going to Woodhammer right now. As he goes in a Rotom, that's fine. We can, uh... Damn, we were Lum. Had I known that earlier. He goes into Tauros. Um... Did I just switch? I guess I switch, right? It's probably the best play. Uh, or I could just Rock Polish here. Wonder how much Earthquake does. I'm gonna rock polish. It's gonna go for the Iron Head. It's not gonna do much. I'm gonna get the rock polish off. I'm gonna be faster now. I'm gonna be able to go for that big earthquake right now. Get some huge damage off on this thing. He goes for return, and that's gonna knock us out, okay. And Samurai comes in, and we are forced to jet right here. Because I do not think we are faster. Goes straight into the Gastrodon, okay. Just gonna mega horn this thing, see how much it does. If we kill it, we could potentially win, so. Why is this thing, like, the only one that doesn't move? Like, in the on all of Showdown? So that doesn't take it out at all. Uh, he's gonna go for rest, and that's gonna be a good game. So, loss on the first one. To be expected, we have no idea what we're doing, so. Gonna go down to Poison right there. Should have probably predicted the Rotom had gone for a Rock Polish straight away. So this team has trouble with Jinx, supposedly, and Malamar. That's great. This guy's got both. Um... I guess Lipard, lead. Played all lead, nice, cool. Can uh, can work with that. Just gonna go for the knock here. Gonna knock out his Claydol. Goodbye. No no hazards for you. And I mean his pincer could be Stealth Rocks, I guess. That's uh, that's probably not the case though. I don't know what he uh, he was going for exactly there. I guess I could have switched into Zatu and gotten up rocks, but man. Let's see. Uh, him on Chan, you have to go for a fighting move pretty much, right? Um. Yeah, let's go into Zatu. Does this thing get a knockoff? I don't think so. Drain Punch, there we go, we're good. And we can just U-turn out here. Predicting, like, Malamar, I guess. That's a pretty good play. Uh, alternatively, we should be faster than Malamar. Nah, I'm just gonna U-turn anyway. He's gonna go for a Thunder Punch, that's gonna do a lot. We had a chance to take this thing out right there, but... Now... Now we get to go into Smeargle. And, uh... Get off some Stealth Rocks here. Nuzzling might have been the better play, but whatever. Um, he's not going to gain any health back from this, and I'm going to be able to go for for nothing. Just got to go for spikes, I guess. He goes for power punch. That's kind of scary. Going to go into Rotom. Uh, Thunder punch, drain punch, power up punch. What's your last move? Let's find out. Thunderbolt. Let's go. He goes for bullet. That does absolutely nothing. Goodbye, him, Munchan. I mean, I mean, he could switch out. He can. He doesn't have rapid spin on this thing, so rocks are here to stay. Pinsir takes 25. So does Jinx. Very nice. And uh, I do not have a Malamar switch, unfortunately. So he's gonna go into Gastron. Good play. And uh, I have gas. I have Grass Knot on this thing. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go into Zatu. I hope he doesn't scald. Probably will. He's gonna go for Toxic. Nice. Okay, so we catch that. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, we'll just go for Roost right here. Be able to Roost off the damage. His Hitmonchan comes in pretty low, so goes for Surf. All right, cool. I'm um, just gonna fire off a Grass Knot this time and knock out this great Gastrodon. Okay, never mind. Didn't realize how little that would do. All right, well, um, Toxic Surf. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go Leopard and just click Knock Off. This should take him out. He's physically defensive, it seems. Um, so goodbye. Bye to that. And, um, does Leopard just win? Uh, I might. Let's see. You have Bullet Punch. That's more than likely what you're going to go for. So I'm just going to switch out into Rotom. Once again, you do n you no longer... Oh, okay, he just goes for the Drain Punch. Nice. And uh, he no longer has an Electric Switch in, so... Volt Switch. Easy money. Goodbye, Hitmonchan. All right, um... Do I have a U-Turner? Yes, I do. Leopard. Thank you. And I guess uh, if his Malamar is scarfed, it could be an issue. 
He goes into this though. Okay. Um, you're a bug type. Gonna go into Rotom. Lose nothing. As he goes for the Excisor. Resisted. And we have Choice Scarfed. He has leftovers. So we're good there. I'm just gonna T bolt this thing, get off some damage. This is gonna go for another Sizz. Gonna get plus one attack boost. Doesn't really matter. Just gonna go Leopard. And click, uh, ooh, wait a minute. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, this is, this is great. This is just great. Hold on, we are Choice Banded X Scissor right now. I think we take everything out. That's insane. Uh, yeah, just click, keep clicking copycat. X Scissor, knockout. Goodbye, quad effective. All right, cool. Jinx comes out. Could potentially be Scarf, but it, if it locks itself into a nice move, I'm good. I have Samurott in the back, so... And goodbye, Jinx. <laughs> so that's a uh, copycat sweep right there. Leopard's getting the thumbnail. Let's try to get another one right here, as we do immediately. Very nice. Uh, this guy's got a real team, though. Like, this is uh, this is nothing to fool around with. Can any anything on his team have taunt? Possibly the Pillow Swine, I guess? But it wouldn't be faster than Smeargle, would it? I don't think so. Do you have a Rapid Spinner? Uh, Defogger? Doesn't seem like it. Yep, so Smeargle is my lead. Pilot Swine leads, pretty good on his part. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks. It's perfectly fine. Get him up as he goes for Curse. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Uh, just gonna go for Spikes. I wonder, what should you take from a Grass Knot? He goes for Earthquake, cool. Uh, just gonna go for another layer of Spikes. He goes for an Ice Shard, that's fine. As, uh, hmm, what can take you out? Samurott at plus one, I guess. What's your defense like? 207? That's not very good. Uh, could go Zatu and Grass Knot. I'm curious how much it does. 226 special attack. Zatu. Oh, I don't even know what we are. I guess physically defensive. Uh, 226. Yeah, that makes sense. Pillow Swine. And you tank. How much do you take from a Grass Knot? Grass, not. Absolutely nothing. Okay. So, I guess Samurott's pretty much our only play. And, uh... Yeah, let's go for that Swords Dance. I mean, Earthquake doesn't knock us out, right? It's a Pillow Swine. It shouldn't knock us out. But it does a lot. Oh my dear Jesus. Okay. Um, gonna Waterfall. And Ice Shard's gonna take us out. Okay. Great. So, we're gonna get swept by a Pillow Swine. Rotom! Trick this thing, right now. Did I need Samurott for, any, for anything? Not really, I'm okay. Goes for Ice Shard, gonna trick him. He's gonna be tricked to Choice Scarf right now. Uh, he's probably gonna wanna go for the... Hmm. Actually, that's a good question, what would he go for? Get a Spadef drop there, doesn't really matter. He goes for Icicle Crash, he is Scarfed now. So I can go Leopard. I can go for the copycat, I think is the best move. Because I don't really want to knock him off and allow him to ice shard after. So yeah, I think I'm going to go for copycat. Going to get a crit right there. That's huge. And, and a flinch. Wow. All right. So we're still in this. Goodbye, pillow swine. That thing was like ready to sweep me. Um, ooh. Yo, give me that earthquake. Like, <laughs> give me that earthquake with Torterra. Uh, he's got a uh, polyrath in the back. And, um, I mean, I think I'm just going to go Zatu, honestly. Like, what, what, what can this thing do to Zatu? It can circle throw, but that's going to do absolutely nothing. And he brings me out into my Torterra, which is great. And, uh, he's got a pretty good wall to this thing being wheezing. So I'm actually going to double in a Zatu. As he circle throws us again. As I, and as you can see, uh, both Zatu and Torterra are on the field right now. So now we got double the power. I'm just going to Woodhammer this time and bring him down to 19% as he's going to circle throw and miss. Uh, that's pretty big. Going to go for the EQ right here. Be able to take out Polyrath from that range. Goodbye. And got to remember that I'm Lum. So don't have to worry about a burn from Lantern. He's going to bring in his Weezing. A little unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to go into... What else does Leopard do for me? Pretty much nothing. And uh, pretty much this screen is going to be stuck this way until I go into Zatu. So he's going to go for Sludge Wave and knock us out. Is he Specs? Like, what, what was that? That's insane. That's crazy damage. 
Um, so Zatsu finally comes back out. I'm going to Psy Shock this thing. It's going to do 49, which is absolutely nothing. And he's going to Sludge Wave. He's going to fail to knock us out, luckily. And we are going to be able to go for Psy Shock again and take out his Weezing, which was a huge threat. Uh, Torterra sweeps now, right? I just need to get up a, a Swords Dance, actually. And I think I, I finish off the rest of his team. He's going to go into his Lantern. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for a Roost. Because I'll, re I'll then take the Volt Switch neutrally. He goes for a Scald. Does not get the burn. And I'm going to keep going for Roost. And he's going to Volt Switch. Awesome. So we get to keep our Zatu alive a little bit longer. Goes into Aggron. Good play. wonder how much this thing takes from a, uh, a Grass Knot. Aggron. Say, uh, are you choice band? Grass Knot actually does a lot, so I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, 44%. That's about right. It's gonna gain some speed right there. I'm assuming he's gonna go for a rock move, I guess. Um, yeah, he's definitely faster than us. The question is, should I switch into Torterra right here? Can this thing clean up the game? So like, Torterra can definitely take the rock move, but can it take the steel move after? Well, I guess if it's heavy slam, it can, definitely. So he's going to go for edge, that's going to do, that's a, that's a crit right there, that does relatively nothing, and we're just going to go for an EQ right here. He's going to go for an iron head, it's going to knock us out, so he did have the iron head. And uh, now if he connects to the edge, we lose, so, going to grass knot, see what happens. And uh, he actually goes for iron head, so that's great, we're still alive. And uh, the only way his Lantern can hit me super effectively is with uh, with Volt Switch. So as long as I keep going for Roost, I'm pretty much good. I just have to outpredict it. it. Takes a lot of damage right there, actually. Um, how much did Volt Switch do last time? 24. So yeah, we can't risk this really. I mean, I can't. We can on this turn. How much does Lantern take from us? Lantern. Oh, it's not very heavy. It shouldn't take much from a, a Grass Knot. Yeah, Psy Shock is like our best play. I think to go for here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire off a side shock. Does 27. That's a pretty good amount. He's going to go for a scald. He's not going to get a burn, luckily. He's going to go for a roost right here. And his lantern pretty much can't switch out. Well, okay. Never mind. I stand corrected, my friends. Uh, as he goes Torterra. Now, this thing is a threat. How much do I do with the grass knot to a Torterra? And you rock polish. Grass knot does a good amount. Um, I pretty much have to go for it right here. And uh, we'll see how that works out. I mean, we knock out Lantern at this point, so... He's Rocky Helmet. He goes for Giga Drain. That does absolutely nothing. So we can outstall this. We can definitely outstall this. Hopefully he doesn't predict the Roost and go for Earthquake. He does not. He gets a crit, though, on that Giga Drain. Uh, that did 41. Last one did... Wait, why did that do so much more? First one did 13. Second one did 41. What the heck happened there? All right, well, I'm going to Psy Shock this thing, weaken it a little bit. He's going to keep going for Giga Drain, I guess. And, uh, I mean, I can stall out his Giga Drains and just go for Roost on appropriate turns. Hopefully that he never goes for Earthquake. That would suck. Oh, that's right. We lost our Flying Typing, of course. I'm dumb. All right. Um, just going to keep Psy Shocking now. Keeps going for Giga Drain. Not sure why. He's Rocky Helmet. He can switch up moves. Just going to keep Psy Shocking. Keeps going for Giga Drain gonna grass knot here because i'm gonna run out of psy shocks and i can't do that because that's the only thing that knocks out lantern so yeah i'm just gonna keep grass knotting that does 24 that actually does quite a bit and uh i have to roost even if he predicts that and goes for earthquake i have to roost so uh he goes for giga drain repeatedly though so we're good just gonna keep going for roost here i have more roost than he has giga drains so i think we're good gonna go for a drain gets a crit again on that one not a big deal Gonna keep roosting. This is very stally, guys. Sorry you have to watch this, but I don't want to lose. I want to gain some points on this ladder. And, uh, gonna grass knot here. That does 27. Rocky Helmet. Goes to the Giga Drain. I guess that's his best move to hit me. He must have, like, Leech Heat, Stealth Rock, stuff like that. So, his Lantern comes in really, really low. How much did it take last time from a Psy Shock? Did 27. So, yeah, we should be good. Uh, I'm just gonna roost here. I guess his only move to touch me is Giga Drain. That must be it. Gonna Grass Knot here. 
Should do some residual. He's running out of Giga Drains. He's down to three after this turn. There we go. He gets another crit on that one. Gonna roost up. Luckily, it wasn't on the turn where I went for roost, so we're good. Yeah, Zatu just hard walls what's left, so. Uh, gonna roost. He's gonna go for drain. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock right here, actually. Don't want to take the Rocky Helmet. He goes for Giga Drain again. He's down to one drain, and I am pretty free to Grass Knot right here. Even if he gets a crit, it's not gonna knock us out. And uh, as you can see, that does absolutely nothing. Gonna roost, and he's out of drains, so he can't touch us anymore at this point. Unless, of course, he has the Earthquake and he's been, like, playing me the entire time. Uh, he's gonna go for Leech Seed. That's gonna do nothing. It's gonna bounce back. I'm gonna go for Grass Knot. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much game over. I think we got a, a very fortunate crit. I can't even remember now. This is uh, about uh, 35 turns ago, so... Really can't remember that. Uh, I think it was the flinch, wasn't it, on the pillow swine? Yeah, so he forfeits. Uh, we have time for one more. Let's go for it. Make it fast. Have a quick live for you guys today. And, uh... Yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna pause it until we get one, guys. Alright, so we got one, and uh, another dude with a Malamar and a Magmortar. Great. Alright, um, best lead here... It's probably Rotom, actually. He leaves the Ferris Seed, that's great. I'm just gonna hard switch into Zatu. Actually, wait, what? What do you mean hard switch? You have Volt Switch, bro. Come on. There we go. It's gonna do 12, but, I mean, it's better than nothing. He's gonna go for a Leech Seed, it's gonna bounce right back. I could potentially have Heat Wave, so I don't know if he can risk this. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna fire off a Psy Shock here. He doesn't have any residual recovery as long as Zatu's in, so... Gonna get a uh, big Psy Shock off here on Magmortar. It's gonna do 40. Very nice. I'm gonna be able to... Do I want to U-turn out? Not really. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for another Psy Shock, actually. He's gonna go for T-Bolt. It's not gonna knock us out, luckily. Don't know what that is, though. It's probably just modest. Um, yeah, let's go Rotom. We're Scarfed. I don't think he's going to predict Rotom. He's going to go for Fire Blast. Never mind, he predicted Rotom. All right, well, um, <laughs> Leopard can come in now and just... Uh, do I want to go for Copycat, predicting his Pharisee to want to come in? I think I do. And I miss, of course. There we go. So that's, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> what the heck? Why? Um, Samurott comes in and just fires off an Aqua Jet. That's fine. Our, um, our Zatu's still alive, so the first seed's not a problem. We have Mega Horn on this thing for Malamar. We have nothing for the Mantine anymore, though, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. It goes into Malamar straight away. Interesting. Uh, I'm just going to go for Mega Horn. Knock this thing out. Goodbye. And, um, Zangoose is looking like an issue. Definitely. Uh, Ferris Seed comes out. Hmm. I mean, I'm just gonna go Zatu. Again. He's gonna Leech Seed. Not gonna do anything, bro. Uh, gonna Roost here. And be back up to near full. About 80%, roughly. 77, I think. Yeah, 77. Chooses to go into Pinsir. Okay. Gonna Psy Shock this as well. He's gonna Swords Dance, that's scary. Uh, gonna Psy Shock right there, and we still have a Smeargle, I guess. Uh, we should be okay. I'm just gonna. S mm. Yeah, I don't know if that was the best play because now Ferrisseed has a little bit of field day. Well, we're gonna go Smeargle, and we're gonna go for the Nuzzle. I'm gonna paralyze this thing. And. I think it's gonna come down to, to Torterra v. The World. At this point, I'm gonna go for the nuzzle right there, and I think I have to get up rocks. Is my play? Parting shot lowers by one, right? Yeah, so rocks it is. He has the quick attack, so I'm gonna go into Samurott, and I'm just gonna go for the jet, and not be able to knock it out actually, as he's gonna get full parrot on that turn. Okay, so we get saved there. I'm just gonna go for another jet here. And uh, being Life Orb, this is uh, kind of scary. Let's see. Uh, Zangoose is a possible switch in. 
He chooses to go into Ferris Seed, though. Okay, I'm going to set up with Torterra right now. I don't have another play. Because he misses a Toxic, which is pretty huge. I'm just going to go for the Swords Dance. As he's going to Toxic again, which is fine. We are Lum. Awesome. And I'm going to fire off an EQ and see how much it does. Crit almost knocks him out. Goes for a Toxic there as well. And I think what I'm going to do is... Maybe get up another Swords Dance? Because what can he do to me, really? Yeah, I'm just going to Swords Dance again. Cool. And now I'm going to Rock Polish. And I'm going to be taking a lot from Poison, but I don't think he has enough turns. He goes for Protect. We're going to go for the Rock Polish right there. And uh, I think I have to Swords Dance again on his next Protect. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to EQ this turn. Knock this Pharisee out. How much are we taking from Toxic now? Uh, 6, 12, 18, 24. This turn is 32. 30, okay. The Zangoose might have Protect. It's kind of what I'm worried about. We have a lot of attack. Whoa. Uh, he goes into Mantine, though. Okay, that's good. I can go for Wood Hammer right here and knock this thing out. There we go. Okay, Samurai comes in. And let's see if... Well, for one, if Zangoose can take us out before the Toxic boost. I swear, if he protects here. He goes for the knockoff, gets rid of our Life Orb, which might actually be better for us. And we get rid of the Zangoose. That thing is frail. Woo! Pick up a win on that one. All right, guys. So uh, that's going to be two and two, I think. I think we got four battles there. So a little bit of uh, an introduction to NU right there. Uh, NU is filled with Pokemon. Like, it's, it's the biggest tier by far. So you got to prepare for so many things, and it's so hard. Like... And not having any knowledge of the tier just makes it even harder. So I just picked up a random team, tried it out. It's a cool team. Uh, that Torterra putting in work at the end. So I guess it's Torterra and Leopard to get the uh, the thumbnail right there. Sa Samurott technically got the last kill. But anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more of these lives. If you want to see more on you, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know on Twitter. Let me know however you want. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Ciao.